welcome. I couldn't be more excited about our keynote speaker. He's a lawyer, venture capitalist, disruptor, a change maker. And the tech gods in Silicon Valley refer to him as the money magnet. Oh, and he also calls himself a feminist, fourth wave. Without further ado, please give a warm welcome to Solomon Vick. Hello, my name is Skye, and I'm from Down Under, in case you couldn't already tell. And Down Under, we have a saying, nothing is worth doing unless it's worth acting in. Oh, I like that. A very good. Okay, um, this morning I woke up and I looked at the sky and I thought, you know, sky, what a beautiful day, you know? And I've always felt like a koala on the inside. So I'm like, a sexy, a sexy koala. I'm a, yeah. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, terrific. Absolutely terrific. Could you believe that guy? What he said to Alan like that? God. Yeah, no, I know. It's so rude. Yeah. But I love the animal stuff, though. Oh, it's so physical. God, yeah. It's super, super helpful. Yeah. Connect in that way emotionally. About the whole thing. Hook, line, and sinker. Told you my amazing Australian accent would pay off one day. Great. Find out more. I need to know what he's working on. It's actually more fun than I thought it would be. I've never seen so many losers in one class. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Have fun, but not too much. Write it all down. I need those students. Tell them about me. Six months free classes. You promised. Hmm. I miss your tits, you slutty bitch. <laughs> You know, I might just take you up on those theater tickets. You must see hair. Oh, you like that? Who doesn't? <laughs> what is it? Oh, it's just filled with profanity, marijuana smoking, and simulated sexual acts. Simulated? And a few songs. I'd like to surprise Doug for his birthday. Maybe you could get me the tickets in secret. Brave your way to Grand Central, and I'll hand off the tickets and throw in a hot dog. You have another one of those? But you've already seen hair. Maybe I want to see it again. <clears throat> Gentlemen, it's been a pleasure. Thank you both for your hospitality. Thank you again. It was lovely. Can you help me make a marriage equation to compute the ideal mate for Selena? You know, like you did when you were deciding about Ruth, which obviously took a lot of compute cycles. Wait, you made an equation to figure out whether to marry me? Mm-hmm. This I gotta say. Simulation results incompatible. Conclusion, do not marry. It was just a data simulation. Still, you boiled me down to numbers. I got your name tattooed on my ass after three dates. Technically, it was just the letter D, which still left the door wide open for a Dave, Derek, even a Darlene. Well, I've been with a Dave and a Darlene, and neither of them needed a ridiculous equation to get with this. Whoa, back up a second. Ridiculous equation? Match.com, eHarmony, that all-farmer dating site, billion-dollar companies based on algorithms with not even half as many metrics as mine. Well, let's look at these awesome metrics of yours. <coughs> Bladder synchronization frequency? Charming. Do we not agree on every stop during road trips? We're basically P-twins. What's an interraciality coefficient? There are certain factors associated with marrying outside your race. And you turned it into a scientific measurement? Paging Dr. Mengele. Are you calling me a Nazi? I take issue with that, especially since it's you people who let Nazis ruin the swastika. Oh God, here we go. You just look and sound so sweet, but you're not, are you? She's a hand grenade in a holly hobby dress. Kate may finally have met her match. This looks like negligence to me. I didn't do I'm anything. sorry, sweetie. Can I just finish what I was saying? This nurse was on her cell phone instead of taking care of my client. As a result, my client, Mrs. Gelman, broke her hip. Here's a picture to help you imagine what the jury will see. Do you know what happens to old people with broken hips? They die. Ooh, crumpet. Beth, uh, mm. thank you for coming back. I need to suspend the mediation for a few days. Do you put these out every morning? Uh, it must be a fortune. <laughs> mm. So flaky. <laughs> I need you to be reasonable. I am. I'm representing my client to the best of my ability. 
And I appreciate all your dipsy doodling around here, but the other side has already agreed they have no case. Is it fun for you? Money? I am loving this fair and unbiased <laughs> mediation. So glad you could do your job and help us to meet in the middle. You're lying. She's telling the truth. I don't want to meet in the middle because that middle sucks. So drop the case, sweetheart. Crawl back into the hole that you came out of. Sticks and stones, Miss Reed. I'll tell you what. If and when you have this fugitive in custody, I'll accept your affidavit. But if she disappears and can't defend her statement, then we go to trial. Oh, are we rolling? Hello. My name is Cinderella. I'm just your average, everyday princess. Shut up! Everyone seems to think I have a problem, but really they're the ones with the problem. Everyone in this land is repressed. You know, it's just... What is that? Sorry, what? Uh, but boom, it's, but it's guys, why, why is it so she's furry? touching my boom. What does it boom. do? It's, um, that takes, that takes the hiss out. Takes don't the hiss do, out? Don't do that. Touching his um, boom. <laughs> takes the uh, hiss out of it. Oh, wow, this is interesting know. contraption. What's your name? Marcus. Come here. Come a little closer. Uh, can you okay. not Shine? do that? Your sexual addiction has affected me in the following ways. I've never done anything like this before. Yeah, me neither. I'm at a low point. See you in 30 days! Are we cut? <laughs>